Hi everyone, so the March of the Goblin event is live. I already made a video about this last night and I tried it out. We already had this event, I think last season or season three, I'm not sure. And it was not really all too crazy outside of this group nightmare dungeon farming strategy that we'll go into in a second. But it seems like they have really beefed this up. So number one, when you slay Avarice, you get this insane army of goblins. This is a screenshot from the blog post, but I actually had it earlier and it was exactly like that. It was crazy and they got tons of items it was really fun so pretty cool stuff there and they have generally just beefed it up a lot so here's like just a clip of me running through hell tides and uh i don't know every screen or two i find a goblin basically and really cool stuff you get tons of those boss materials tons of items like every two minutes i just tp back to sell all my legendaries the entire inventory full and i wasn't even opening the bags yet so it's just kind of crazy and you see here also not only are these goblins there, but then there's a second goblin and sometimes even a third goblin popping out, dropping all these legendaries, boss materials, and it's just pretty wild. So farming Helltide is pretty lucrative right now, especially after Infernal Hordes uh, blasting. I guess people might be running really low on those boss mats. So the goblin stonks are coming right at their best moment. If you still have to do some automated boss farming to get your mythics or maybe do an alt or something like that, now is definitely the time. So I tried this out, and as you can see here, like I just keep finding goblins. <laughs> That's how it went. I heard from some people they weren't as lucky, but generally there's a lot of stuff going on. It seems also you don't just have to go to Helltide. You can also find them in like any zone outdoors. Lots and lots of goblins. So it might also want just go for some whispers, for example, or just go to like some secluded corner somewhere in the world where no one else really goes where there's no whispers and you might just be completely on your own farming all those goblins, go to the next zone, that could also be pretty good. There's also this nightmare dungeon farming strategy, which is especially good when you are in groups. So when you farm nightmare dungeons, there can be an affix called extra shrines as one of the positive bonuses. And this is what you're looking for. You want to farm these extra shrine dungeons because you can get greed shrines. And greed shrines are pretty busted at this event. So here's one of those affixes. For example, I think goblins always drop a sigil that has this. So it's very easy to get many of them when you already farm goblins elsewhere. You can get these greed shrines in those dungeons. And if you go in with a party, then everyone can click on the greed shrine and then spread out in different directions in a dungeon. And anyone who slays any enemy, I think you need to get 20 kills to spawn a goblin. And all of the kills from anyone count for everyone. So you get tons of goblins. Like last season we did this in something like a Blind Burrows or Sarat's Lair. Where you have to, these spider spawns. And every little spider counts as one of those 20 kills. And it gets pretty wild. You can spawn like 50 goblins, 100 goblins. And in fact you can spawn so many goblins that the loot starts to disappear really fast. So you're actually going to lose out on a bunch of stuff dropping. But that's just like stuff all over the place. So this means you don't really have to do this perfectly or necessarily even as a four-man team. Just, you know, even going in two-man, for example, could be really good already in these nightmare dungeons. So this is an alternative way of farming goblins if you're looking for those. I can just say it's very efficient right now, especially for boss materials. Uh, you can also like easily fill out your codex powers because you get so many legendaries from this. As I said here, like, you know, I just teleport back every few minutes, salvage an entire inventory. It's crazy. In general, just uh, these are the two main strategies, or three, I guess. So Helltide, lots of goblins. Otherwise, just in the open world, there's everywhere goblins. So if Helltide is like overrun a little bit on hardcore, I didn't have that problem. But on softcore, this might be an issue. Then you can just go to the Whisper Zones or just anywhere in the open world. Otherwise, group up, go Nightmare Dungeons is getting pretty crazy there, especially in those really high density like spider dungeons. It's wild. So this goblin event will run for one week. It just started like a few hours ago as of the making of this video, August 27th to September 3rd. So we have one week to try this out. On 20, August 29th, you're also going to get a campfire chat. I expect PDR to go live actually at this date as well. So it's probably going to last exactly until PDR. So like my expectation at least. So we'll see. And for now, this is like a really good time to jump in and boost your alls and get your boss mats and so on. So I'm definitely going to use that. That's already it for this video. Just wanted to show this off here quick. Just what are the best strategies? This is what I would recommend. So hope you like this and see you guys next time.